Hi guys. I don't know if I have enough signal or um, if you'll be able to see me. Um, but I figured I'd do a little quick video uh, since Aria is um, in horseback riding. Well, she's brushing the horses probably because it's raining. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to do a video because um, I've gotten a lot of private uh, messages and people who have spoken uh, with me and told me um, how cool it is of all the stuff that um, I do with Aria and I share um, and it's so good and how cool it is um, and I just I, I wanted to share a specific story that happened about a month to a month and a half ago um, because a lot of people have also asked me about um, the technology um, or the tool that we have been using with her in order to help her and support her through her development and um, I think that this story really encompasses what it what it does what the technology does um so about a month um, no i'm gonna say like may june um i noticed that aria started to um she started to not want to talk to people uh where like if somebody will come up like an adult will come up and say hello um she would just stand there and um she would like not talk to them she like pretend that they're not even there so um you know i said well you know it's normal i guess you know kids they go through their faces and so forth and so forth but then it started to get more intense where you know um if somebody was talking to her she would just like totally ignore and walk by like the person wasn't even there and i was like okay well i'm gonna work on it then it started happening with kids so like if we would go to a park or um, homeschooling class or something like that she would just like not talk to kids and then it got to the point where she would want to play with them but then this fear was created where she um would just like try to approach them but then she'll say i'm just so scared i'm so scared i'm so scared i can't I can't, you know, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And she would just come back and cry, you know. And one day, um, about a month and a half ago, uh, we were at this uh, garden and there were two girls who were her age and they were playing and she wanted to play. I knew that she wanted to play and she would go next to them and she would just stand there. And it was like this fear and this resistance and everything of just going there to uh, talk to them and just say, hey, do you want to play with me? Die, right? So for me, it's like, oh, well, that's so simple, right? You just go up to somebody. But for her, it was like this huge gap of from here I am, I want to play to actually it coming out and saying it. So um, I sat down with her after we left. I said, hey, how about we go have some ice cream? And I sat down with her and I said to her, hey, I want to have a conversation with you. And I said to myself, I'm just going to talk to her like she is an adult. Like she is somebody who comprehends everything I say. And I explained to her why it was important for us to build relationships and to have a community and to have friends and to um, communicate with one another. I explained to her then and I broke down the process that she was going through where she would think about doing something about asking another child to play and that it would sort of... Um, she would stay sort of like in her thoughts and it wouldn't come out and she wouldn't physically exercise what she was thinking. And I had this whole conversation that if you talk to a grown up, even they wouldn't understand, right? So they would still take some time to process that. So I had this conversation with her. I had no expectation that she would actually understand anything I was saying, but I wanted to put it out there, sort of sound it out for her so that, you know, I can slowly integrate and help her so that she can start talking to people and especially you know kids because I you know so she can have friends um I had this conversation let's say one o'clock then we left there I had to go to a doctor's appointment and um I went in to um see the doctor and she was sitting at she was um sitting outside where the um the front desk girl is I mean it was like I don't know five feet away from each other um, so the front girl, the girl from the front desk, she said to her, hey, um, well, what did you do today? And this is 
within an hour of us having that conversation. She said to the girl, well, I had a conversation today with my mom and I have been having this fear of talking to people. And I realized that I've had some anxiety. Now, I never mentioned the word anxiety to her. Um, and I didn't, the way she said it back wasn't the words that I said, meaning um, when I spoke with her, I broke it down and gave her the context. When she was talking to this lady, she was explaining to her how she was feeling. And she was saying, you know, I have realized that I have some anxiety and that um, I, I, I know that I have to get through it. And I know that I have to um, be able to communicate because it's what is best. And the lady was like, what? <laughs> and so I'm listening to her saying all this. And then she said, you know, I, I want to... Uh, I want to have friends. I know it's important to build to build a community. She did say that to build a community and to have friends. And so in my head, I'm saying, okay, well, good. At least she heard me. But is she just repeating what I'm saying? Meaning, did she just memorize what the conversation that we had, and then she's just spitting it right back out, right? So that night, I actually used the tool on myself. And I investigated within myself what are some of the things that I'm afraid of, of maybe talking to people, approaching people, uh, some things that um, she may be picking up from myself because I, she spends 24-7 with me, except when she's sleeping. Um, and I worked on it within myself. The next day, we went, um, to, we came here to her ho horseback riding lesson. And... Um, she got out of the car and she saw a friend of hers that she um, always plays with or, um, today, but back then she didn't. Um, so she saw this girl and she's like, oh, there's somebody I can play with. And as she's getting out of the car, she says, I'm scared. And then two seconds later, she says, but I can do it. I can talk to her, I'm brave. And she went up to the girl and she started talking to her. They actually rode together. Um, and then after that, we went to the park and um, there was another child that was around her age. And she said, okay, I'm gonna do, she said to herself, not to me, but she said to herself, I'm gonna do this, I can do this. And she went up to the girl and she said, um, hi, my name is Aria, would you like to play with me? Now this is from the day before at 1 p.m. me having this conversation with a three-year-old to the next day she's physically integrated and she's physically doing and what we talked about a lot of the times you know you can talk to a child and then you have to do it over and over again sort of like to uh, uh for them to understand what you're trying to say or what you're trying to explain to them but she did it in such a fast speed and she actually understood everything i said even though the conversation that we had was a grown-up conversation i explained feelings emotions i mean things that you talk to a grown-up that even they probably wouldn't process for a while and she was able to do this now a lot of people uh will say oh well you know um I can put my kid in a program and then they know all their letters and their words and their numbers and so forth and so forth. But are they memorizing it or are they actually processing and then putting it in a physical and, and experiencing it in a physical form where they can then actually act out what they are understanding? Like, you know, can you go, um, can you explain something to a child and then they're able to do it on their own, process it, and then spit it back out without you, you know, without you telling them what to do. So I thought that was like an amazing thing that she was able to do at the age of three, where she was able to communicate, understand that she had a resistance and that um, she was getting stuck on thought and that she needed to put it into physical form and actually go ahead and do it and uh, go through this obstacle. And even today, um, she'll um, see something that she's struggling with and she'll say to herself, I can do this, I can do this. And then she'll just keep trying until she gets it. And then she just sort of <laughs> um, uh, congratulates herself like, oh, I did it, right? But she knows that she can do that. Oh, she's here. Yes, Boo -boo. I, I need to go pee. Oh, we gotta go to a pee pee break. So, anyways, um, just wanted to share that, and uh, um, it's an amazing tool that we use. It's Techno Tutor. This side, sweetie. This side. 
And um, that is the difference between just using something like ABC mouse or something like that to learn how to uh, memorize something to actually practically integrate uh, everyday life things. Bye.